In Hungary's capital, a few hundred cheered as Viktor Orban headed towards his fourth consecutive term as prime minister. Dear friends, he said, we've achieved a huge victory. His domestic campaign was shaped by an international crisis, the war in Ukraine. Orban positioned himself and his Fidesz party as a peacekeeper who wouldn't drag this country into conflict. Have to find a compromise, and I think Mr. Orban is really after the compromise. But in this district in Budapest, which typically votes opposition, some say they cast their vote based on a different choice altogether. I think it's a kind of choose between East and West. So probably the country will be more, uh, a little bit um, part of the East and not the West, which in my opinion is not a very good thing. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe has a team on the ground monitoring the vote and the run-up to the election. The mission is led by a former Canadian ambassador. Many have raised concerns about Orban's attempt to centralize power and establish rules that favor his government. Instead of, of shoes, we can see tanks. Throughout his 12 years in control, Orban has developed a tighter grip on media, leading to fewer independent voices. HVG is one of Hungary's most influential independent news magazines. This economics columnist says the re-elected government faces steep challenges ahead, especially when price controls that were put in place on basic food and other necessities expire next month. There will be a much, much bigger inflation and this crisis because of the war. So people maybe will see that the, the whole landscape is not so bright. Breyer, now that uh, Orban has been re-elected, what are the challenges ahead for Hungary's role within Europe? Well, a big one is going to be just the relationship with the European Union. When Orban addressed the crowd tonight, he took a swipe at the EU, saying his victory was so large it could be seen from the moon and definitely from Brussels. The EU is at odds with Hungary over a number of issues, over media concentration, the independence of the judiciary, and also a policy uh, that the uh, EU believes is discriminatory against the LGBT community. And the EU is withholding funds from Hungary until those issues are addressed. All right. Thanks very much. Briar Stewart in Budapest tonight.